So in Skull and Bones, we covered exactly how to craft the Brigantine. And in this video, we're going through the build that I've got set up for it, which is really, really powerful. So to start this one off, if we go to the Knowledge tab and we go to the Brig, you're going to see that it's a DPS. So it's specialized in dealing damage and status effects, and the DPS favors an aggressive playstyle. You'll see the perk is Bullhorn, and this is where the fun comes into this ship. So it increases your damage from ramming by 45%, and it reduces the duration of torn sails by 80%. It applies flooded to an enemy ship upon ramming. It starts at rank 5, I've got mine almost rank 11. The health is 40,000, brace strength is 8,000. Speed is 12 knots, trimming speed is 18 knots. It's the fastest ship in the game. Cargo is 45,000, so it could be a little bit bigger, but it's not awful. And then it's got 100 stamina. So if we go into manage ship, you'll see that I'm literally tickling rank 11 with this ship. And if we go into the weapons, what I've done is on the front of the ship, I have a long gun. I've got long gun five because that's going to be where you're output in. Like if you've got a little bit of range between you and your enemy, that's where you're going to continuously. Like if you're chasing someone, you're going to continuously just keep like basically sniping them with these. And then on the sides, we have the Zamzama 3 and 2. So you want Demi Cannons because it fires a lot of them. And if you're up close and personal, which you will be from the ramming, then these are going to apply a lot more pressure to an enemy ship. And this is good for both PvE and PvP. There are probably much better PvP builds for it, but for at least for PvE, this is incredible. And on the back of it, we have the, I'm going to call it the chalet or the chalet. It is a torpedo. And this is really, really good if you're being chased because you can fire them quick. They deal a good amount of damage. They cause flooding. And then as the auxiliary, I have the mortar. I have tried the rocket launcher. I'm not a big fan of it. I just like having like at least a couple of weapon choices for when there is a bit of range. So the mortar and the long gun does exactly that. When it comes to my armor, I got the Royal Custodian. It's got a 400 rating. And it also comes with a perk that applies the fortified effect for 12 seconds after using a repair kit, which increases your armor by 35%. If you are interested in getting your hands on the Royal Custodian, there is a video on the channel already. And then the one thing I forgot to show you guys when I did the Padua Kang build is the furniture. As my major furniture, I've got the rope locker because it increases your acceleration to 300% when you activate trimming at full stamina. 5% of your stamina is instantly consumed to trigger this effect. If you can do anything to increase your stamina, make sure you do it because it depletes rapidly in this ship. For the other four slots, I have the Torpedo Furnace, so that it increases my max range of the torpedoes by 10%. Then I have the Iron Cladding Station, which increases my damage from ramming by an extra 25%. Then we have the front powder kegs so that my long guns deal more damage. I get an extra 10% from that. And then I have the maintenance forge so that I can restore 1% of my severe damage per second while out of combat. And uh, yeah, if you're being sunk every now and then, like I have been by PvE and PvP combat, then uh, yeah, this is really, really good when you're back out on the ocean. Now this ship, mine being almost rank 11, I can take out most stuff in this game. I struggle a little bit when it comes to the Dutch uh, military bases, and some PvP has uh, yeah, left me out of food entirely. But if we try and find ourselves a few ships, I was asked by a couple of people in the Padua Kang builds to not show low-level ships. So I will show you, I'm hoping we find some 8s and 9s around here. But I'm telling you right now, like when it comes to ships in this game actually, the uh, Padua Kang is incredible for when you are fighting groups. I'm going to say for single targets, this is definitely up there as one of the best. I've not got my hands on the Sandbuck because I've not done too much of the endgame stuff at the moment. Well, I mean, I've, I pretty much haven't done anything in the helm. So let's try and find... So you're too... I don't really want to pick on a small ship. I'll show you guys the Ramen on a level 7. And uh, yeah, that's what I was saying, like... This is the most fun I've had in a ship because of how fun the ramming is. You deal a lot of damage, you go rapid in this ship, and it's just an absolute blast to actually have it. So if we can, I need the wind to get out of my face. That's going to be the only thing that stops me being able to show you properly. I might have to leave this one and go for that one over on the left. I know we're picking up a little bit of speed. I'm running out of stamina. The stamina is crazy in this ship. So uh, let's just try and go for it. Let's try and hit it with a ram. Yeah, there we go. Look, it took half of its health. And then the demi cannons on the side. I think I actually missed most of them. 
So this ship's running. I don't know why. But there we go. A couple of uh, long gun shots. And that is out of the water. Now this one wants to uh, get involved. So I'm going to try and uh, get a couple of hits there. I'm going to brace that. Oh, okay. Brace didn't even work. And then uh, torpedoes for you, my friend. And uh, yeah, there we go. Torpedoes are pretty good too. So if I can try and get around to this, hopefully finish it off with the demi cannons. So uh, there we go. Nice. So that's a couple of ships dealt with. So we've taken a little bit of damage because my brace stopped working for some reason. But there's pretty much no trouble with it. And uh, yeah, granted, they're only level sevens, but I've taken down the ghost ship with this build. I've done the colonial merchant uh, run. So yeah, I've got a long gun on the front. I've got torpedoes on the back. I've got the mortar in the middle for if I want some extra range. I've got the demi cannons. I've got the Zamzama 2 on one side, the Zamzama 3 on the other side. And I'm not even kingpin, so I shouldn't have those demi cannons. But what I've been doing is the cutthroat cargo hunt PvP event. And through some of those legendary treasure maps, I've managed to get the end game weapons because the Zamzama 3 is actually only available using pieces of eight, which is farmed through the end game activity being the helm. So yeah, if you're running my exact setup, I highly recommend Repair Kit 3 because this has quite a lot of health. And if you're in combat, like you're going to take hits every now and then. And the setup you need in terms of your ammo are cannonballs, torpedoes and mortar bombs. And that is my build for the brig. It's a monster. Uh, like, there's nothing else I can say about it. It's such a fun ship for the ramming aspect, for the flooding that you cause, the torpedoes if you're being chased, chasing someone with a long gun's fun. And then the demi cannons are incredible if you're close range because there's just so many that are fired from this ship. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about my brig build in the comments. I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.